I don't say this often, so listen up. The B-Link Sur 6 Max is an impressive piece of kit. Rarely does something end up on my desk where I think, wow, this is something else, and then proceeds to give me a double boner. Wait, what does that even mean? The Sur 6 Max features one of the best bang for buck CPUs available. AMD's 8-core Ryzen 7735HS with Radeon 680M graphics. Sure, we've seen a bunch of minis use this CPU already, but where this one impresses is how it manages to perform at the 54 watt power configuration. But before that, the EaseUS disk copy software makes upgrading your storage drives faster and easier. Clone drives or migrate Windows installations to new ones with a simple and easy to use interface. This app supports disk, system, and even partition cloning. Find out more with the link in the video description. B-Link Sur 6 Max comes in two different configurations. Both have 32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory. The only difference is storage. And at 20 US dollars extra, I'd just get the one terabyte version. But make no mistake, this is a premium price product and is premium to match. Think of it like an Intel NUC level of engineering. I find most B-Link minis to look very plain, but the Sur 6 Max has a very nice design. It looks impressive on the desk and is hefty thanks to its nearly completely metal shell, which as many of you know, is my mini PC aphrodisiac. Something like the Minis Forum UM773 Lite may cost over a hundred bucks less, but the creaky plastic of that mini over this fine piece of metal isn't remotely in the same league. And don't get me started on the performance issues with the UM773 Lite. Where was I? Oh yeah, so premium price, premium product. This is definitely a case of you get what you pay for. In the box is a monitor mount and screws, power supply and dual HDMI cords. The standard B-Link accessory kit. One thing that has changed is a new proprietary magnetic plug for the power supply, which B-Link claims helps to put more functional ports on the rear, whatever that means. Now sure, the magnetic plug looks cool and holds on very tightly. I'd say too tightly, but it is proprietary and isn't removable off the power supply. So if the power supply cocks it at some point or the magnetic plug breaks for whatever reason, your only option is to go to B-Link for another one or try your luck on the used market. Interestingly, B-Link is offering a lifetime warranty for the power supply, which helps somewhat, but I just don't approve of introducing new proprietary connectors. That's what Apple does best. On the front is an audio jack, USB Type-C and USB 3 10 gigabit. There's also a power button and BIOS reset. On the rear is 2.5 gigabit LAN, dual USB 2, DisplayPort 1.4, HDMI 2.1, dual USB 4 and another audio jack. That's one hell of a modern port selection and better than any other 7735HS Mini I've looked at. Again, very premium, knuck like Triple USB-C isn't exactly common, and gave me a triple boner. Um, he's giving me a stiffy. Giving you a what? <laughs> you know. <laughs> he has an erection. Opening it up isn't difficult, just time consuming, as there's a bunch of screws. Four for the bottom metal plate, which gives you access to a second M.2 Gen 4 NVMe slot, which is cooled by the thermal pad connecting to the bottom metal plate. Good job. After a few more screws of varying lengths, we can lift the SSD cooler to reveal the crucial memory and unlabeled crucial P3 Plus drive, which also has a thermal pad and fan near it. Windows 11 Pro is included, but you shouldn't have any problems running Linux if you prefer that. I booted Ubuntu off a USB stick without any issues. For the synthetic benchmarks, I thought it would be interesting to compare the Sur 5 Max I recently reviewed, as well as the Minis Forum UM773 Lite, which did well in synthetic tests, but not so much in games after heating up and tanking frame rates. Still, I captured its gaming performance before that would happen. Anyway, the B-Link Sur 6 Max matches the best AMD single core CPU scores I've tested, which is a 9% improvement over the Sur 5 Max. For multi-core, we have a new mini on the King's Throne, even if it's less than 1% ahead of the previous best performer. That's a 16% improvement over the Sur 5 Max. In video encoding, the Sur 6 Max has a clear win with an 8% improvement over the UM773 Lite and almost 20% over 
over the Sur 5. The Sur 6 Max comes out on top in the DX11 graphics benchmark as well, almost 9% ahead of the UM773 Lite, which is a massive 70% increase over the Sur 5. In DX12, the improvement is only around 4% against the UM773 Lite and 71% against the Sur 5. So, in synthetic benchmarks, the B-Link Sur 6 Max takes the crown in every single one apart from single core. That's pretty impressive, but does it actually hold up in gaming? Yes, unlike the UM773 Lite, the frame rate doesn't start tanking after 15 minutes or so due to overheating. So, let's check out the game and emulator results. I thought we'd start with a recently released title to see how the integrated graphics hold up. But even at 1080p low, there still isn't a steady 30fps in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. For this game, I'd suggest throwing on the FSR2 image upscaler to boost performance and allow you to up some of the graphics quality settings like anti-aliasing, which it badly needs. In Valorant, all three minis get 150 plus frames per second. The Sur 6 Max was faster, but surprisingly not that much over the Sur 5. In Forza Horizon 5, the Sur 6 Max manages to squeeze out an extra frame or two on average. The generational leap over the Sur 5 is pretty clear. Elden Ring is a surprise title. The Sur 6 Max was clearly better at holding a frame rate in the 40s and higher. But Cyberpunk didn't get a boost over the UM773 Lite. Well, when it's not overheating. God of War saw a slight improvement in average frame rate for the Sur6 Max. Breath of the Wild performed 7% better than the UM773. In fact, in all emulation tests, the Sur6 Max was significantly ahead. Check out the frame rate in Motorstorm. Huge difference. Of course, if you want more gaming power, the USB 4 ports support an eGPU at 40 gigabits per second. Here, I'm playing at 4K with an RTX 3070 graphics card. B-Link claims a new improved vapor chamber cooler for this mini PC, and the results are good. The Sur6 Max had the lowest maximum CPU temp in this lineup. However, fan noise levels are around knock level. Fan noise is okay, but doesn't match the UM773 Lite. This included NVMe SSD isn't the fastest for a Gen 4 drive. Sequential read speed is okay, but write speed is below the faster Gen 3 drives. I think a premium Gen 4 drive for the asking price would have been nice. The SSD cooler in the Sur6 Max does the job at keeping drive temps under control. This is something B-Link Mini PCs handle really well. Idle power draw was low at just 7 watts. And max power draw is up there with the other high powered minis, almost at the 100 watt mark. Oh, and since I get asked about Wake on LAN, I didn't find it in the BIOS, but I did find Wake on RTC. Alright, so to summarize, the B-Link Sur6 Max is a very nice premium device with great design, has a nice metal case, NVMe cooling, 
and may just win the crown for the best set of ports of any 4x4 inch mini PC. As we've gone over, performance is excellent, easily taking the crown in almost every benchmark. However, while the new power plug looks cool and apparently comes with a lifetime warranty, it is annoying to detach and is proprietary. The only way you'll get a replacement is from B-Link themselves. I think the included Gen 4 NVMe drive could also have been faster. Also it would be nice if B-Link offered this in a bare bones option. There might be complaints about the price in the comments, but until you've tried something like the Mini's Forum UM773 Lite and this side by side, you won't realise how large the gap is in build quality, engineering and even performance. I think the Sir6 Max is worth the extra dollars. It's a great mini PC and the best B-Link unit I've reviewed. And if you've made it this far, I will also be reviewing the B-Link Sir7 Max, so look out for that. And if you're wanting something lower priced, check out the GMK Tech Knuckbox K3 Pro mini PC with the same CPU running at a lower wattage right here. Cheers!